Hey guys, it's Most Deaf Steph um, back today with another video. Um, my Zoom Zoom review video hit 3,000 views, I believe, yesterday. And I was absolutely astounded. It was insane considering most of my videos haven't even hit over 100 views, let alone 3,000. So it must be popular. And I have made some new ones. So I thought if you guys enjoyed the first one so much, I would show you some more that I've made. So without getting too lengthy, I'm just going to jump right in. Again, these are inspired and or made by craft muse on youtube and this time i'm going to do my very best to remember to say craft muse and not craft life because i was mortified at what after watching that video i actually pre-watched it before uploading and just didn't notice for some reason so anyways again i'm going to be trying very hard to remember to say craft muse because she is the um, very talented woman um, who came up with these amazing tutorials and um, body pattern that I use for all of my inspired ones. I use her basic body pattern. So it's very much, um, I, I look at them like a collaboration um, and inspired by for sure. So anyways, let's just get started because I don't want to talk your ears off. So my first one I'm going to show you, let me just adjust my camera just a little bit is Goofy. He is so cute. Um, I said at the end of my last video that I was going to be making him and I made him right after. Sorry, my camera keeps kind of sliding a little. So um, anyways, yeah, this is Goofy. I love him. The tutorial is by Craft Muse. You can go to her channel. I will be linking her channel. Um, I'll link the Goofy video in my description and you can find her channel that way because I actually don't know how to link a channel off of my phone. So that's him. The last one I have by her today is Ariel because I won't be showing you them all. I don't have enough time to show them so I'll do two videos. I'll have more to show you after that. these. Just I'm going to show you some today. So this is Ariel. I didn't use two tones for the um, tail because I really liked how the Caribbean green looked and ever since I saw how she did the bangs it's just opened up so much um, ability to make more girl characters of the zoom zooms which I really love so I love Ariel she was kind of the starting ground for all of my Disney princesses so she's really special to me so the next one I'm gonna show you is the next one I made after learning Ariel which was Alice because Alice is one of my favorite Disney characters. I used the electric glow um, because it was a little bit of a lighter blue and Alice's dress is much lighter than the kind of neon blue that I have. So I used that and I made the little bow. I don't know why it always looks crooked but it's like weird. Anyways, that doesn't really matter. So here she is. I tried to make her little shoes so she had like the little socks on. I don't know if that really worked out too well. But anyways, that's my Alice Zoom Zoom. Sorry, let me readjust again. Next one after that is my Princess Jasmine. I really like how she turned out. Um, especially like even though it's not that big of a detail, the little diamond on her head, I'm really proud of. I like how that came out. I kind of just thought of it and put it together. I mean, it's not really my design. It's just a regular diamond um, on the rainbow loom, but I really like it. Um, I also really like how I did the hair. Um, again, it's very similar to the um, skirt style. You just kind of work with it differently. It's, it's really hard to explain, um, but I do use a similar technique for the skirt as I do for the hair. And even the bangs is a similar technique and this is just a single chain a doubled single chain to make it really thick so it would stand out so that's princess jasmine um the next one i have is snow white who is also a princess although most people don't say princess snow white but that's her i really like how she turned out her skirt's a little tight so i should have made it maybe a row longer but that's okay and she has little gold shoes so i used the um the sparkly gold and I added a little, little bit of blush to her cheeks. I tried to use the lightest Rainbow Loom skin tone. I still feel like she should be a little bit lighter, but that's okay. 
Um, I still think she's adorable. I love the dress colors. I've always been a fan of the fact that they're just so, um, so much color in her dress, but it fits beautifully. So I really like her and I like how she turned out and the little flips of her hair. I'm really, I really like. Um, next one I'll show you is the, pardon me if I pronounce this incorrectly, the Harajuku, um, Marie from Aristocats. And so she's just kind of dressed up really fancy. I made Marie before, but I really wanted to, sorry that I have to keep adjusting my camera, just keeps slipping. Um, I've made Marie before, but I really wanted to make her with this like really fun little skirt. And I used, um, from Claire's Wears, a half starlight mint to try to make kind of a lacy effect at the top of the dress. And her little bow. I just think she turned out so cute. And I love that she has little um, pink eyelashes. It was one thing that I was just like, oh, I love. So I added those on for sure. Next one I'll show you is my genie from Aladdin. I wish his ears didn't curl quite as much. This one doesn't. I think it's partly because of the earring. But this one just curls like crazy. It drives me nuts. And I did his little beard. It's kind of hard to see. Like, it's pointy. If I can show you it's kind of points down and he does he didn't have back legs I guess this is the genie version before he gets free because I know in the Aladdin cartoons when he's not really um like he's a free genie in the cartoons that he actually does have feet but I just figured I would follow the actual zoom zoom so he has no feet he just hovers so that's my genie from Aladdin Next one I might as well show you because it's also from Aladdin is, is Iago. Um, I really like him. He, I thought he was just such a cute design. And um, the thing that actually kind of freaked me out was the wings. Again, they curl a little bit, but that's okay. I kind of like that they do that kind of thing, almost like a wing. Um, I really like how the beak turned out. Um, I was also kind of not sure how that was going to work. So I was really happy with that. He's got this kind of puffy tail with two tones, so I tried to do that again. And um, yeah, I really like how he turned out. I think he's adorable. And the next one I'll show you is my Queen of Hearts from Alice in Wonderland. Um, she is really cute, I think. I put a little... Um, pom-pom in here to kind of support the bun and I think it just gives it a really nice shape and I, I actually made the crown on the rainbow loom because I wasn't really sure how to do it on like just the hook and make it look tight and kind of small because her crown's just little itty bitty crown so and she has gold shoes so I just used the metallic gold so I really like how she turned out. Again, I really love Alice in Wonderland, um, the movie, and pretty much any of the characters in it. Although uh, the Queen of Hearts is quite dreadful. Um, I still really love how she turned out. So I have two more, and they're related to each other. So I'll just show you them at the same time. Um, it's Jack the Skeleton. Oh, this is my old one. Let me see if I can find her. Let me just see. Oh, there it is. So I do have two. Jack the Skellingtons because this was my first one that I showed in the last video that just did not work out. So I tried again um, and again it did not quite work out. I tried to just stitch it in. I'm going to just have to use um, just slip knotted bands eventually but I just find it I wanted a more clean look so I was trying like it doesn't even really match up like you get this weird thing here because I couldn't get it to go proper but I still think he's much better than my first attempt, which does show progress, so that makes me happy. Um, and I probably will be remaking Jack um, again, and I'll just use the slip knotted bands. And I did make some improvements to his face. I made his eyes a little bit bigger because I wanted them to be a bit more bulgy. And I did make his nostrils a little more bigger, and I... I think the mouth is pretty much the same as before so there wasn't any improvement there but those are my two jacks and then I made zero the um the dog that belongs to Jack I tried to make his um like ghost kind of 
bottom. I don't know what to call it. Cause it remind, he reminds me of just like a, a Halloween costume with a sheet. So he kind of has like a uneven bottom. So I tried to do that. It wasn't super successful, but it wasn't too bad. He actually doesn't have like arms or legs really in the zoom zoom version so I didn't add them I can't remember it's been a while since I saw the movie so I really don't remember if he had arms and legs or not um he probably doesn't because he is a ghost um I do like how the ears turned out I think those were good um the nose I wanted it more kind of like this um, but instead it, it's kind of got this weird like I kind of want it, it's hard to explain like I wanted it to be more like that I guess but it just didn't work so I'm gonna probably tweak this design as well and eventually remake him so this is just zero from the nightmare before Christmas and this is my last one for today I do have some more um, however I can't fit them all into one video um, and I figure I'll, I'll make this one, see how it goes, and if you guys want to see the rest, I will happily upload more. So, I'll just kind of bring them all back into view like I did the first time, and just kind of wrap up this video. So, I'd like to say a huge thanks again to Craft Muse for coming up with this idea and this whole thing. I've, um really really enjoyed it and I just keep wanting to make more I already have an idea for my next one that I'm hopefully going to start tonight and um it's just been a lot of fun it's actually something um that uh has really caught my attention whereas other things with looming I find I used to bounce between bracelets and charms a lot and this is the only thing that's really held my attention for this long so I really love it I'd love to say thank you to everyone out there who took the time to watch my first zoom zoom video um 3,000 people that's that's a lot to me I know that's not a lot to everyone out there but it is a lot to me so thank you to everyone who took the time to watch um it is just so amazing when I saw that you have no idea how happy I was. So thank you so much. I made this video for all of you. No one asked for it. I just wanted to make it because I figured if people, that many people were watching that specific video on my channel, opposed to all the other ones. I have tutorials. I have reviews. I have a whole bunch of stuff. Oh, there's my dog again, which you've heard in many of my videos. And so I just want to say that this is for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Um, please feel free to follow me on Instagram. It's spelled exactly like this, except add an underscore to the end. Or on Instaloom, which it's just this exactly. So if you guys want to follow me, feel free. I um, pretty much always follow back looming accounts or art accounts um I'm not huge on like selfies and stuff so if your account's 90% selfies I don't necessarily know if I would follow back but if you post looming stuff and you post crafts any crafts I don't care what they are duct tape paintings drawings I don't care what it is any crafts and I will follow back so thank you so much for watching and I will try to be back in a couple days with the rest of them so have a great day bye guys